What's the crack lads? Welcome back to the channel and welcome to another a training guide. This is a bit of a hype one lads, I'm not going to lie because Adriano, we all remember him, an absolute legend from the eFootball series. Well, not really the eFootball series now, was it? It's the Pez series. You know, Pez back in the day, Adriano was the main man. He was an absolute demon. He was so good on the ball. And I think, to be honest with you, lads, uh, there is a bit of hype about this card, even though it isn't an amazing card, right? So we are going to take a look at the three players. We are going to do a more in-depth training guide and a review of these as we get them, because we are going to probably spin from um, and play with them in game and stuff. But yeah, I mean, we've got Cordoba, we've got Julio Cesar, and we have got Adriano as well, who tops out at a 97 overall. And that's before his team play style uh, boost as well, right? So, look, Cordoba is going to be a player that is a little bit controversial, not controversial, but he is going to be polarizing, right? He does have unwavering form. All the legends are on B rating, so that's going to be something that's good. But also, he has got really nice player skills. Uh, heading, acrobatic finishing, man marking, interception, blocker, area superiority, acrobatic clearance, and fighting spirit. The only problem with Cardoba, lads, is his height. Now, we've had this issue before with Cannavaro. We've had this issue with Kunde. We've had this issue with Timber. Players that are not super, super tall, but that can still jump. But the problem with Cardoba is that, you know, you don't really... I don't know, will he go on, is he going to be you know, an absolute dominant beast. I think you have to play him in a very specific system. And that is part of a back three when you've got wing backs or else part of a back five when you've just got a flat back five where you've got loads of cover uh, in the air. Um, maybe you have the Ligt, maybe you have Van Dijk, maybe you have slow-based defensive players. Um, but if we go over to eFootball DB, they do have to update the levels just a little fraction, but he is at 27 levels in-game. And just to give you a kind of an example of how I would train him up, we are going to try maximize that aggression. We are also going to try maximize to get the boost into tackling. We'll see in a second when we'll, whether we'll pump up a few more. But we are going to pop four into uh, goalkeeper or three into goalkeeper one, and we're also going to pop four into aerial strength. Now from here, you're taking a look at this guy's stats, and you're thinking. Nothing else really needs to be boosted up. We can go one into acceleration if we want to. We can also go one into lower body strength if, or three into lower body strength if we want to. And then you're left with defensive stats, right? Where you're thinking to yourself, do I want to, you know, improve his, um, his aerial ability or do I want to just turn him into an absolute freak of a defender, right? So five points into this actually gets you 98 aggression with 91 defensive awareness, 93 tackling and 92 defensive engagement. And you still have that one extra one you can pop in if you want to go to 93 jump. That is kind of where I would go with him, lads. I mean, I know that the height is going to be a bit of an issue, but you would be dependent on his heading player skill, which is seriously overpowered um, for him to be able to get up. Now, don't, don't forget, lads, I have Roberto Carlos in my team, and Roberto Carlos is well able to, you know, commit to challenges in the air. He's well able to win balls in the air when he shouldn't uh, as well. So it's all about that jump. So that is the second build that I would go for, is once you have this tackling at 88, 89, or around that, that uh that spot you will get the boost with the tackling on 88 the aggression is more than enough the defensive awareness is more than enough but just from here i mean if you wanted to go the route of i suppose really kind of um really kind of upgrading his jump i mean you could do that very easily and get to 97 jump um and 88 header if you wanted to go 90 header, you could do that as well. I mean, that is kind of the options that you do have at your disposal there. If you wanted to go down that route, I mean, we can get him to a 95 overall with dexterity 2, lower body strength 4, aerial strength 10, defending 12, and goalkeeper 1, 4. So I think that's probably a more well-rounded card. You've got 99 jump. Um, you could also take that away. I mean, the only thing that's been upgraded here with the jump... Um, or with the goalkeeper one is the jump. You could also take that away and pop two more in to acceleration or one more into acceleration if you wanted to go that route and then just take that as well into goalkeeper one. It's a pity that um, Cordoba can't play as a right back because I think he would be an absolute beast of a right back, especially with all the player skills. A little bit of a disappointing card other than that. But, I mean, I definitely think those two trainer builds are the best. If you are a very good defender, you can get by with this. And if you don't really find yourself defending a lot of, you know, in the in the air kind of tight balls, a lot of people on the higher divisions don't play early. So that's why I think Cordoba will do a trick for you 
if you are able to get in there. But yeah, I definitely think we are jumping around a bit. I definitely think, you know, pop in a couple in there, get the jump up to 97, get the defending to 95 aggression, 13 points into that, and then get the speed up as well if you want to go that route. So that is Cordoba, who I think is a fantastic player. Now we've also got Cesar. I mean, this guy's got 27 levels. He's an offensive goalkeeper, low punt, long throw. You know the works by now, lads. You know what you're going to be getting with this guy. Uh, he's a 96 overall when he tops out. 27 levels, as I said. He's got unwavering form. The low punt and long throw are quite decent. I do like that uh, he's, you know, a nice height as well. He's not too, too small. Um, if you are going to be taking a look at this guy, the main thing that you need to look at, in my opinion, personally, this is just me, is the reflexes. And the reflexes do stack up quite nicely with the catching, which is nice when you all, you know, stack up your tiers together. Eight into that, and then I'd probably go nine into that. I mean, that's a pretty decent goalkeeper, lads. A very decent goalkeeper, actually. You can even get 80 jump, which you don't really need with this card. I mean, if I'm taking a look at this card here, and I'm talking about reach and clearing, I would probably potentially put up his uh, reflexes just one more and leave that jump at 80 with the aerial strength, right? So, I mean, that's not a bad, uh, a bad option to have there at all. Um, he's just your, look, all the goalkeepers are kind of the same. You're going to concede goals, that you, you know, no matter what you do. Now, moving on to the big boy, lads, we do have Adriano. And again, the lads do need to upgrade the levels. It is at 35 at the moment. So don't get too excited if you see 35. And um, they will be updating the DB, they told me. But for now, we are doing it with the lock of 31 levels, right? So I think the big thing about Adriano, lads, is the fact that he's a cult hero in eFootball uh, and Pez, right? Well, more so Pez, right? Because he's been in the database for ages. This is a big time Adriano, so you know he's going to be locked on the B rating. He doesn't have unwavering form, but look at the stats that are going to be highlighted in this straight away. Kick and power 90, physical contact 85, but he also has 70 balance, which is very unusual for a player this tall, this strong, and this powerful, right? I mean, he's like Thanos, lads. If you get a, a shot with Adriano, you have to be able to shoot, right? He's not going to be a versatile, mobile, nippy uh, striker like Romario or Mbappe. Don't try and turn him into that. But he's also not going to be like a Yang Collar Drogba type. He's kind of a mix in between. I think this is kind of like how Haaland's card should be when they go into eFootball 2024. He's down as a goal poacher. He's got really good stats, really good um, player skills. He doesn't have first time shot or he doesn't have one touch pass to bring in others into the play. But everything else he pretty much has. He has acrobatic finishing, long range shooting, rising shot, knuckle shot. He also has heading and first time shot, which is quite key to this card's build. So this is probably the ultimate build I will say I'm going to do for him, right? You've got two, okay? Now I will do a more extended build on this when I'm doing, you know, a full playthrough with him later in the live stream. But I'm going to probably take my chances that I'm going to be shooting with this quite this guy quite a lot. But 84 finishing for now is more than enough, right? To also increase that kicking power, I'm going to go to 82 speed. That will give us 76 stamina as well, right? Once we get to that stage in it, then it's going to be kind of picking how you want to play with him, right? If you want to get that balance up and that offensive awareness up, I would definitely recommend go to 78 on acceleration and balance to get the boost. You're also going to get that boost. I'd probably go 88 on the offensive awareness because you're going to depend on his position and rather than his pace, okay? You'll still be able to get into the box, but you'll be playing him in a slightly more advanced role with counter target on him. Now, this is where it gets interesting, right? Because it depends on how you are going to be delivering the ball into him. And I've said this before. If you're going to be using him as a target man, you can definitely pop nine in to get his header to 82 his physical contact to 94 and his jump to 83 if you want to go that route right you can also tap this out here and put four into the goalkeeper to get his jump up to 86 that is a phenomenal card as well i would potentially pop up and prop up his dribbling um if you wanted to go that route i know he does go to a 97 overall lads but I, I genuinely think that this is probably a better build of him. You've got the kicking power, you've got the physical contact, and of course, as well as that, you've got the finishing. Now, if you struggle in front of goal, you can definitely take this physical contact down if you want to pop one more into shooting, pop one more into dexterity, get him as a 97 overall. You've got 89 offensive awareness, 96 kicking power, 90 physical contact, 82 speed, 80 acceleration, 80 balance, and 85 finishing. A really good card. Is he going to be meta? It remains to be seen. It depends how his player ID is, but I definitely think he's going to be a fun player to use. And look, it's Adriano, lads. I mean, it is the main man himself from Pez glory days. So let me know what you think if you're going to spin for them. We will be back with the rest of the player guides and reviews as well. Until then, I will talk to you in a bit. Peace.